Hello everyone and welcome to another Modswell video, I'm your host Maxwell. Today I'm going to be covering a mod that I recently saw put up on the Bethnet. I was so taken aback by the scale of what was on offer here that I had to make a video on the mod. I am of course talking about Interact Build Decorate, a mod that is looking to change the way you can approach the game. So let's take a look at it. Interact Build Decorate is a mod created by IronDusk33 a modder known for the likes of Missives, Simply Tame, Train and Study, as well as a bunch more high quality mods. This latest mod promises to let you make your mark on the world, and it is going to let you do that in a whole bunch of ways. Be that by editing the existing spaces by moving clutter, furniture or decorating in a simple and intuitive way, Iron Dusk has actually done a better job of this than Bethesda did when it released Hearthfire. With the Hearthfire DLC, when you build and decorate, everything is coming from specifically set designs. Sure, there are a fair amount of them, but nothing like this. I'd say Interact Build Decorate is actually closer to the Fallout 4 settlement system, with the designs being far more in your hands. This mod is going to allow you to decorate, build furniture, make cabins, manage corpses, create trophies, have access to realistic storage, gather collectibles, change your appearance, and display all of your gear. There is so much going on here, but there would have to be, as this mod is a massive game changer, in that it literally feels like you could play an entire different game with this installed. Many new playstyles will become possible with this mod. I'm considering things like town building, survival playthroughs, where I can fully bed down in a more consistent way. Whichever metric you measure immersion by, Interact has it in spades. I've likened this mod to Fallout 4's settlement system, but in many ways, it actually surpasses even that. Mostly when it comes to decorating, where moving and placing an item with Interact actually feels much better. However, Fallout is made for a system like this, so it's definitely a little bit more fluid there. Especially when it comes to filling up your cabins, followers are your best bet here, as there isn't a settlement beacon that could be made. Don't let that put you off though, because the creativity that has gone into this mod is outstanding. Skyrim wasn't designed for you to leave your mark like this. We weren't meant to change the world space in any meaningful way. Iron Dusk has completely ignored that and made what is arguably the biggest change to the game available. I have been creating small campsites for myself and my team to rest in as I try to attempt clearing a section of the map. Overall. I'd say my abilities at role-playing could really use some work, but I definitely found myself venturing into that style of play. Roaming the wilds without real intent just felt more fun. You'd assume with something like this, getting it to work might be a challenge, but that's pretty far away from the truth. It can be installed or removed mid-save totally safely. This is stated by the author and confirmed by myself who thought it would be a really good idea to sit there installing and uninstalling repeatedly, and I can report zero issues. The author says the reason behind this and its massive level of compatibility is because most of the features inside the mod are contained to themselves. This basically means most of the edits made only relate to edits made within the mod. With the exception of the triggers and edits to vendor level list, this mod really isn't touching anything outside of the mod itself. Using Interact Build Decorate honestly couldn't be easier. Recipes have been added to the forges and new woodworking stations, 
which are decorations or cabin pieces. They are fairly apparent when it comes to crafting materials, which I appreciate because it makes it feel that little bit more accurate. After creating your items, store them in your inventory and make your way to a spot that looks good for you. And yes, I do understand that holding a cabin in your pockets might detract from your immersion, however you can avoid this by creating the items to craft with and taking those to the spot instead. Craftception. Whichever method you decide to use, when you're in the area you want to build in, open your inventory. Inside you'll find the items you've crafted, which when selected will bring up a menu regarding their placement. Decide upon their layout and place the item. It's really that easy. Carry on doing this until you've made a nice little home for yourself, decorated in a style that you like. Once that's done, I highly advise taking a little walk around and seeing what objects will let you do. Some interact in interesting ways and others can be moved and tweaked to perfection. So take a wonder and see what options are available to you. An interesting one will regard washing your face. Anytime you interact with an object from this mod that has water in it, a menu will appear asking if you want to wash your face. This is really just a character creation menu designed to make it feel like you're grooming yourself, which I guess could be a cool concept for anyone with more restraint than me. Naturally, with such a fantastic mod filled with so many amazing mechanics, this is gonna have a large file size to it. At 66 megabytes, this might not be attainable in every build, but all things considered, this could be your player home mod campsite mod and more so the cost for us console players is kind of worth it in a massive way personally i think finding the space for this mod should be the current must do activity in skyrim modding i cannot stress how fantastic it is to get it working i actually put it down in my lowest section but after some testing found it didn't seem to matter at all the mod just wanted to play it is such an easy thing to work with I chose to focus on one mod this week for a few reasons. One, this came up and I was so enamoured with the idea of it. And two, because I'm working superbly late shifts this week, as people in my Discord are aware. But I am so glad I got to play around with this one, as I think it might be one of the best mods ever made. In terms of replayability and build crafting, I don't see many things that come close to the extension of the game that this offers. And it's doing all of this and so much more. I truly enjoy having a genuine impact on the world. Whilst the Dragonborn will be sang of for generations to come, there weren't any physical things that you left behind. Now we get to have a true physical impact on our surroundings, and I cannot wait to see what everyone makes happen. With that in mind, I would love to see pictures of everyone's new builds should they download this mod, which hopefully you're already doing. And on that, I'm going to call it. I have left a link to this mod for both Xbox and PC in the description below. I've also left links to useful communities that will help you with all things modding such as my Discord and the Skyrim Xbox mod subreddit. I can be found in either, but I also try my best to answer comments, so if you need any help, please don't hesitate to ask. If this video has been helpful, likes, comments and subscriptions seriously help push my work out further with YouTube's algorithm as does watching this far into the video. Whatever you do though, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.